you know, I don't, I don't worry about my daughter because she's not like a lot of other women. She's not like my sister used to be. When my sister was younger, my sister's a dangerous woman now because she, you know, she's in the Navy, she trains, she, but before that, she was very careless in her approach to things. She would come from the club and have her heels on and not have her keys ready and shit. And when I was younger, I told her, I said, hey, um, stop doing that, man. When you get out the car, have your heels in one hand, have your keys in the other, have your purse already on. So if somebody try to attack you, at least you can use both as a weapon. Now, she's not paying attention to what I'm saying because she's being hard-headed like, and stubborn like most. So <laughs> I'm not a person that's going to tell you nothing more than once. Then I'm going to show you the difference between what I'm saying to you being real and it's not. So I see my sister. She coming home late. Same bullshit. Heels on. Keys not ready. I say to myself, you know something? Today is the day. <laughs> and my sister at that door, and I came around that corner so swift with my sister, I said, yeah, you know what this is? And her weak ass. <laughs> and I put my sister in the back of my car, in the Monica, I had a Monte Carlo. I put my sister in the back of that trunk, and I drove around my sister for four hours. <laughs> Every 20 minutes, I would stop and just be like, this. "You know what I'm gonna do to you when I get in?" She was my sister in that car. <laughs> I got her home. I let out. She in in the trunk, look, looking stupid. You found me. I'm like, bitch, I took you. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm the one took your ass. You lucky it was me. <laughs> <laughs>